Hey y'all, welcome to Barlow Barbecue. Glad you're here. I'm getting a fire going because we're going to cook with our Dutch ovens today. We're going to bake some hand pies. Now the stars of the show today, some rum. Some, some more rum. And some pears. Now the first thing that you're going to want to do is peel those pears. You're doing a good job peeling those pears there. Thanks, sweetie. All right, here's our beautiful pears all peeled up, ready to go. Now you want to cut those in half lengthwise. And then I take out the core. I used a teaspoon. That's pretty handy. Yeah, that's me. All right, we've got some of that rum. Oh yeah, I mixed that with some melted butter. And then I had a toast of the day. Oh, cheers. Yeah, it was a good day. I'm gonna mix that in with the butter. And then you're gonna brush your pears liberally with your boozy butter. And that's a big bowl of sugar and cinnamon there. We'll have a recipe for everything you see today down in the description box right down below. Just hit show more. Nobody's gonna notice that bruise. All right, now we stir them all up, make sure they're covered in all that sugar. Let's get cooking. Y'all know we love cast iron here at Barlow Barbecue. We're using a large 10 inch Dutch oven for this cook. We're gonna throw in some butter. You wanna cover the bottom of that oven with a lot of butter. You can never have too much butter. You're right, but we're gonna save the rest of this butter for later. And now we're gonna put our pears in, cut side down. Now we're gonna add that butter that we took away. Ooh, I was wor worried about that. I know, it's okay. Oh, and all that sugar. Little splash of rum. You know it. And now we're gonna cover it up and let it cook. Now it's time to make our dough. We're gonna use three flours. We have all-purpose flour, self-rising flour, and whole wheat flour. In this little bowl, I have a mixture of kosher salt, some sugar, some black pepper, and a little thyme, because I'm kind of fancy. You are fancy. Thanks, sweetie. We're keeping everything cold today, so I have some frozen shredded butter, and to that I'm gonna add our flour mixture. We're gonna keep things cold to create layers. You'll see about that later. We're just gonna kinda toss it together till it feels a little shaggy. And to that we're gonna mix in some cold milk. Mm, I love a glass of cold milk. I know you do, sweetie. After it's mixed, we're gonna flatten it out a little bit. And then look, we're starting our layers. You're gonna fold it up like an envelope. The key to pie dough is not to overwork it. You don't want to make gluten. We're not making bread, we're making pie. So we're going to let this rest for at least 30 minutes. Even overnight's great. We'll put it in the refrigerator to keep it cool. It's been about 10 minutes. Let's check on our pears. Ooh, yeah, they're looking good. Those, you could just put those right over ice cream right now. It'd be amazing. Don't tempt me. I just might do that. You're just going to cook those till they're soft. We'll flip them over and cook them for about five more minutes. And the magic of YouTube, it's been another five minutes. Let's take a look. Ooh, those look great. Let's get them out of there. So now you're going to set these aside to cool. And what's going on in the bottom there? Looks like, what's all that stringy stuff? That's delicious caramel. Ooh, all right. So we're going to save that, and we're going to cook that a little bit longer, right? That's right. Oh, that's what we're doing right now. You know it. You're so smart. Now let's check it out. We want to get things to a rolling boil. Yeah, just like that. And then we're going to throw in some rum. I like that idea. Yes, sir. And I threw in some salt. And I think just another splash of some cold milk coming up. Oh, nope. That's heavy cream, dear. Oh, big difference. Mm-hmm. You're going to mix that in. Yum. That that's, looks great already. That's looking nice and creamy. So we're just letting this simmer a little bit over some medium heat. And to that, guess what? We're adding... More rum. Yay. And then you're going to take that off the fire so you can retain that alcohol goodness. Now let's mosey back to our dough, which has been sitting in our fridge for the last 30 minutes. You're going to cut that dough in half. Now we're going to handle it one half at a time just to make it a little easier to handle. I like easy to handle. So roll your dough out. Hey, look, you can see those layers starting oh, I see already. Them down there. That's pretty cool. You're going to roll it out into a long rectangle that's about half an inch thick. 
And then remember, remember the envelope fold? There it is again. And look, we're gonna fold it one more time. Handle it with care, we're not making gluten, remember. And then we fold it in half and we're gonna put it aside in someplace cool for five minutes. We're back and we're gonna roll this out into a 12 inch circle. Nice. Now, cause we're hippies, not really, but we are gonna cut this into a peace sign to make three triangles. I'm all about peace though. I know, me too. So we're gonna make a total of six pies today. A peace pie? <laughs> a piece of pie, yes. All right, time to make some hand pies. Now, Martha, what are we doing here? We're painting a little heavy cream around the edges to seal the pie. I see. Now we've got our pears in that butter rum sauce that we had cooling earlier. And that looks so good, that nice gooey. I'm sure it's really sweet. You could just have that over ice cream right now. Oh, so don't, good. Don't tempt me. Oh, this is pretty cool. I like this part. Wait for it. Oh, uh, okay. And... Oh, well, that's pretty cool. Yep, these are gonna be the cutest pies. Now you're gonna cut off a little excess if there is any. Gotta dial it in. You know it. And we're gonna seal the edges with a fork. Oh, I like that. That's a pretty cool touch right there. Yep, these are gonna be so cool. Now they're almost done. Look at that, we've got a few made already, but one last little zip. Whoop. Now that does it right there, that's yep. perfection. We're ready to bake. Back at the fire pit, we've got our 12 inch Dutch oven all warmed up and ready to bake those hand pies. So one concern that we had though, was if we put the hand pies at the bottom of that, they'd burn. So Martha came up with an idea to help solve that problem. She took the lid of our smaller 10 inch Dutch oven and just put the hand pies right on top of that. Look at that, it's a perfect fit. I'd say you're a genius, baby. Thanks, sweetie. All right, so we're gonna concentrate all of our heat on the top of the lid, okay? And we're gonna let this sit for about five to 10 minutes. It's been about 15 minutes, folks, so let's check these out. Now, we did take a peek at these about five minutes ago, and they were really, really close. Drum roll, please. But da Hey, those look great. Yeah, they do. Look at that color, beautiful golden brown. I'm so excited. And look how well that lifts right out of there. Yep, pretty cool. Let's plate up those pies. So we got a little bit of that butter rum sauce drizzled on the bottom, and we're gonna add just a touch of cinnamon ice cream. Boy, oh boy, and then we're gonna add some more butter rum sauce, and if there wasn't yes, enough indeed. rum on there already. What? Whoops, I'm a heavy pourer. Let's give this a try. Boy, oh boy, I'm so excited to eat these pies, and I'm here with my two favorite guys. <laughs> and I just have a little bit of rum left that I'm gonna share with these two fellas. This is my father-in-law and my husband, very dear to me. Hey dad, how you doing? Good. Lucky, lucky great. guys yeah. getting this pie. Okay, so what Martha's doing down here is pouring us some rum. Sorry, you can't you see go. it. Oh, hey. Cheers. Cheers, you guys. And to you guys, too. All right, we're going to taste some of this rum pear pie. Mm, I can't wait. Drinking a little Laguanita's brown sugar right here. Mm. That was so great and so much fun. You guys should try this. Make it in your oven, or if you really want a challenge, make it on your campfire. <laughs> yeah, it's really good, isn't That's it? That's really good, and I'm <laughs> not kidding. All right, y'all, thanks a lot for hanging out today. This was an awesome cook. You should try this recipe at home. And I'm glad to have you here, Dad. Yeah. I'm glad to be here. I'm <laughs> glad to have you guys here, but we're going to sign off for today. Thank you all for your support. We love each and every one of you. So until next time, we're going to say, smoke them. If you got them. That's right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.
Wow.